जमा लेता हूँ मुझे बार बार ऐसा नहीं करना पड़ेगा मैं ऐसी जगह में Ladies and gentlemen, we have the DAV PG College and the Yaspal Rana Institute of Education and Tech going head to head against each other. Please stay tuned for the national anthem and please stand up as a mark of respect. So it's a DAV PG college in white, but in the Jaspal Rana Institute of Education and Technology in red. Currently, the toss has just happened, so there's going to be a change in sides, of course. So, yours, on your screen from the left to right will be Jaspal Rana Institute of Education Tech, while in DAV PG College will be attacking from the right to left. We'll shortly give you the lineups of each team. quick hurdle are being arranged the final hurdle a few quick words of strategy being discussed just ensuring so is the starting 11 for DAV PG college Abhishek Pratik Vinod Pratik Vivek Vipin Niraj Siddhant Udit Satish Ankur the starting 11 for Jashpal Rana Institute. Aman, Anil, Arjun, Arun, Ashish, Harsh, Ritik, Mohit, Naveen, Akash and Konsam. So we have Vivek captaining the DAV College wherein we have goalkeeper Pravendra captaining the Jaspal Rana Institute. It's going to be DAVPG College. And we are underway. So DAVPG College starts proceedings with the ball to the far left. Number two plays it back to the defense. A quick press there from Jaspal Rana Tech College. Almost found the ball. But however, DAV has things under control. The ball's fallen back for this Palrana Technal for GRI. Now DAV. Bit of a scrappy start to start the proceedings with, but then as time grows, the players will eventually be settling down their nerves. DAV at the moment, as we can see, they are currently in white. We are trying to pour forward the numbers, trying to get that opener early. Shooting space. They found the flash, takes the shot, but goes straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. The ball has fallen back. Uh, for JRI at the moment. A throw taken away. Once again, DAV has recovered the ball as it was a miscued clearance. Uh, but JRI will be breathing a sigh of reprieve 
after recovering the ball but then a miss pass has allowed DAV to gain control of the possession DAV has the ball under their control starting the game on a pretty slow note now quickly sends the ball to the far left and now an attack from the left wing but that has been deflected for a throw in a quick throw taken in a long ball being sent for the player stationed on that far right wing does get the ball receives it takes a one or two touch takes a tumble too but keeps the balance in the end but then jri has recovered the ball and now dav once again pushing up number two there a quick one two allowing them to set themselves burning flaming on the trajectory of an attack a quick pass however that has been intercepted and traded in for a throw in so JRI, uh, so DAV will once again get time to regroup and create a set piece from this throw. Sends a quick throw there. But there's a melee of boots. There's a melee of JRI boots. However, DAV still does an excellent job to regain the ball back. Uh, well, just while he was trying to control the ball, it bobbles up. So it's a free kick taken quickly there's a man up front and he's got it back on the net however the offside flags off so that will not be counted it initially did feel on the offside because he was actually standing miles ahead but he did manage to put the ball at the back of the net the, he even did start with the celebration uh, but it was quite evident it was quite tangible for everyone almost so the score line still remains locked at an impasse with DAV and GRI duking it out at the moment at their Adun. The ball's fallen back for GRI. They are trying to stitch together short little passes that can open up a few avenues of attack for them, few new avenues. This is for the first time GRI is pushing forward. However, DAV has their air guard up. And while they were trying to put the ball in the clearance, uh, an extended feat of number seven has allowed DAV to figure out some space for themselves. DAV on the move again. Sends a cruising ball downtown. The attacker surging forward. However, GRI was well in control of the ball. And the defenders will send it back into their opposition's attacking half. And it was a free kick. So he just snatches the ball away from the air with his hands. Eventually, if you're just seeing it, you would be a bit shocked, but then he had things well in control. Davy sends the ball scoring down to the far left, but a far left, but then a decent job from the JRI defense. It will allow them to get that opening up. DAV on the move again. GRI regains possession of the position but then again things are pretty hasty at the moment both the teams has no idea whom they are passing to both the teams haven't got the faintest of idea where their attackers are probably it's just because it's a starting five minutes but both of them will have to keep a calm head both of them will have to look at least where their players are where their mates teammates are DAV are trying to play the ball upfield a foul there while they were trying to recover the ball Ended up shoving him from the back, so that gets a free kick in favor of BAV. And sends in a scarring through ball there. Received chest trap. Slammed straight at the goalkeeper. The ball did bobble up for the custodian, but then at the end of the day, he does a decent job of keeping things right in front of his eyes, keeping things under control, thereby making it 0-0 at the moment. The scoreline still remains locked at an impasse as both the sides 
wants to break the standoff as soon as they can, wants to draw first blood. GRI playing it back. Again, a miscued defensive effort allowed DAV to move forward, but as we are already seeing, there are too many mispasses. Both the teams unaware of where their players are. An excellent cross from number seven from the far left, but no players of GRI in to give it the eventuality that it should have received. A couple of nice dribbles. However, it has been cut short. And it's offside. The GRI attacker thought that probably he can search forward and get the ball for himself, but uh, he wasn't fortunate enough. Now DAV has the ball back in control. Keeping the ball, exploring a few options up ahead. But GRI, absolutely equal to the task, clear there any kind of danger lines. The ball is now really going from one box to the other without much intent from any of the sides. We are just thinking that the long balls will probably do the trick. At times it does the trick, but then again, not on most of the occasions. So you'll have to, you'll need the numbers up front as well. You will need somebody who's got a decent physical stature to keep things under check. But at the moment, both these teams haven't got or haven't shown uh, that they have the intensity. DAV did come close on a couple of occasions, but then then the goal was not there again DAV pressing a bit higher than usual hoping that the opposition would let the ball slip and GRI just traded in a long throw in plays it back DAV does well to keep the ball in control if they would have lost the ball from there on it could have been catastrophic for them suddenly it's the attack for DAV but too many defenders overcrowding the attacker, thereby laying, and it was already offside as well, so it was going to be, it was not going to count anywhere. It was going to be a good, uh, free kick in favor of GRI, and DAB has come close on a couple of occasions, but haven't found that incision up front where in GRI so far has shown intensity but haven't found the back of the net yet and neither a positive move either another long ball down that red the player ran in a bit too much however DAB has managed to keep the ball under control short passes being stuck together most likely a center would come in a brilliant pass that has given him a lot of space head at home it's goal number one and it's DAV they were knocking on the doors early and it's in the 10th minute. A brilliant cross from the right wing has been headed home by DAV. And they have drawn first blood. GRI, the defense was too sloppy there. A free header was allowed. They had no idea that there were players going up. This was the first time the ball was called or it was flagged offside. But at the moment, we have just seen the first goal of the night. A brilliant cross darting in flying in from that right wing and it was headed in exactly in the destination it should have been DAV1 GRI0 will soon confirm the scorer who got the uh, who managed to smash the ball into the back of the net and now it's time for GRI to put a feet on the pedal too they would be hoping to secure that all important finish They're waiting for the balls. Yeah, one ball was there on the ground and eventually the other ball has been sent in. So now DAV will be looking forward to build from here on. They have secured that early lead. The question is, we just saw a few moments back in a semi-final in Bengaluru. Uh, we saw how an early lead couldn't be defended and eventually the match was considered away in the dying embers. However, now, let's see, can DAV put further pressure, double their lead? A few moments back, there was another contest here where Graphic Hill Valley School secured a comfortable win despite equalizing in the middle. And now it's DAV 
Once again on the rise, there's a player station to the far left. And now he sends a scarring cross, hoping for his men to latch onto it. But at the moment, GRI has situations under control. But then the resultant clearance has fallen back for number nine. And they are asking for an offside, and the lightsman has obliged because the player was offside. 11 minutes on the clock. And we have already seen the first goal. It was a couple of minutes back. An excellent effort, a piece of a cross, and headed home with clinical precision. There's another long ball this time. Mm, a bit scrabby uh, midair. But once again, DAV has the ball with them and now are hoping to get the offensive going. Finds a nice little ball down that right wing. They still have the ball in their control. They still have the possession. And now they are cre opening up the small pockets of spaces. All that was needed was the pass having some weight. But the ball has been re-snatched by DAV. It's all DAV so far. JRI is totally rooted to their half. They have brought all their men down and still somehow they are not able to defend DAV's incision up front. And now GRI almost go on the ball back to themselves but DAV is well in control. Plays it straight. And now a quick push there, the goalkeeper coming out to stop it. There was nothing much that the goalkeeper could have done in case of the first goal. It was poor defending. They allowed the def they allowed the attackers to break free without any kind of difficulty, without any kind of hurdles, without any kind of obstacles, and that cost them dearly. DAV once again on the offensive. A quick little pass being played back, taking their time given the fact that they already have the lead, and somehow JRI isn't interested in attacking at the moment. We are pretty sure that they have a strategy, but it we can only be visible on time. Another offside, another run. It's just that the number of offsides that we are seeing, it should be telling you another story as well. The youngsters are not afraid to tie. They are going to probably uh, go and take a shy at every possible opportunity that come down their way. It is exactly what makes them so exciting. Suddenly, a very bad place to lose the ball. Can he create that pass? The defenders have crowded over. Here comes the shot. Dip Fortunate, very fortunate, but the ball, the danger is still not, the danger is still not cleared. DAV is still knocking at the door, and eventually the flags off for the offside has gone off. Well, 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 you cannot afford to lose the ball. I believe it was just the lack of pace that allowed JRI to stay in the hunt. Very poor defending. DAV almost had themselves a second. You won't get a better opportunity than that. But then the speed probably was a factor that allowed the defenders of GRI to catch up with the, with the striker. DAB once again has the ball and once again plays it forward nicely. But then it has been intercepted by GRI. And now GRI with a quick turn has some space up ahead. He's creating further, waiting for options to arrive in the box. Plays it back. Had an option again. Backtracks a bit. Plays it back further. Hoping for that cross, plays it a bit of forward ball, but the offside flag has gone up. It was expected at the end of the day uh, because he was already uh, like he was ahead of that final line of defenders. It was a great goal. We are just 15 minutes in the contest. We still have almost half an hour of the game remaining. So both the sides will be hoping to produce further goals and assert their authority. So far it has been all DAV. GRI has failed to go ahead and even register one single shot on target. And that is exactly what makes DAV so dangerous. They have the required names in their ranks. They have the required agility, flexibility, the hunger to score. Once again, DAV controlling the ball very smoothly, sending in that cross, sending in a feature of a cross rather. And at the end of the day, winning a goal Okay, so they, they thought that they won a corner, but they didn't. It was a goal kick in favor of GRI. A decent 16 minutes of the game we have witnessed. Mm -hmm. 
the goalkeeper. Now plays it long. BAV still pressing hard with the hope that if they can get a scrap ball and they can turn it something from there. That's exactly how they got their goal. The defense from JRI has been pretty sloppy. That has allowed uh, DAV to break through extremely easily. A move like this. Just We just saw they didn't have any idea. And DAV again stepping in a foot, snatching the ball back. This has been the tradition of this half so far. But DAV has dominated the proceedings. DAV has secured the possession in their team. They have twisted, they have turned, they have France. They have pirouetted their way past the GRI defense. And yet at the end of the day, GRI somehow has just conceded only one goal, given the profligate nature of DAV. Plays it up front. They have a few options. They have an option to even channel it inwards. But at the moment, they are unable to use it. They've kept the ball in. Well, it, it did seem per se that they've kept the ball in, but it's actually gone out while he was trying to pull it back in. So it's going to be a throw in in favor of DAV. A nice rainbow flick allowed them to go a bit forward and get another throw for themselves. And now it's a throw in the opposite direction. GRI will have some time to rally back their forces, regroup themselves, maintain their calm and composure, and probably try and hit back uh, DAV at the moment. There's been very little response from GRI that has given the fact that there's no pressure on, GRI, uh, on DAV defense at all. They are actually gaining the courage to slowly increase the numbers up front, and this can be uh, like very, very apocalyptic for the man in red and now the man in red it's a lovely ball down that left wing the attacker the striker still trying to find out which player to play to plays it eventually straight to the goalkeeper wherein he had two options this is a golden opportunity for them to equalize but then it got fizzled away from the goalkeeper will be taking care of the proceedings Short passes between the DAV players, creating formations, not letting any of them break. And now a long ball from DAV. I guess it's offside. It is. He was a mile offside. The goalkeeper didn't have to do much. A long ball being sent downtown there. And DAV is on the move again. Plays it down the right. Scrappy footwork. However, it's a nice pass there. The question is, can DAV get onto the ball? No. GRI does a decent job of smashing the ball back in their possession. However, the clearance wasn't really as solid as they would have wanted it to. And DAV is again on the rise. Finds the player in the center. It took him a while to observe and notice that there was a player, but eventually the ball rebounds off a DAV player and falls back in favor of JRI. The goalkeeper was way off his line despite a quick charge from the JRI attacker. It won't uh, land him any. It won't land him any good or any joy. Back to DAV now. Plays it straight. DAV is again on that offensive move. Turns around for his options. Number 9. Going down that left wing. I guess the first touch was a bit too heavy. And again, poor goalkeeping there. I guess the goalkeeper should have grabbed hold of it. And they couldn't keep the ball either. There's no need to twist and turn so much. All they needed to do was probably put a foot in. Looking for a few opportunities. Plays a quick pass. Number 12. 
plays one two, but GRI defenders are alert. That won't be doing them too much good either because the ball's fallen back for DAV and DAV is totally dominating the game. There's no break at the moment for GRI other than these missed passes, but DAV is doing a pretty decent job of recovering the balls that they are also giving up. Also, GRI has shown very minimal amount of urgency and now the DAV attacker bombing down from that left flank. He's just got the ball for himself after a very poor defensive clearance from jersey number 3 of GRI. They were expecting that they would find a little more than that, but at the moment GRI continues to have things in their possession. But they have given it up to DAV. It's all DAV so far. A brilliant, brilliant twist there. Leaving the defender completely jumbled. And now DAV sends the ball scarring forward. There's a player stationed on the far left. He'll be looking for a few options. Oh well, the ball did go out. So that would not count for his attacking intent. There's a long ball. And the ball's back with DAV. They play it back further. A quick, nice and an adept dribble allows them to once again go forward and carve an attacking unit. A long ball there. The defender was not really sure that the attacker was actually going to push him from the back. When I say push him from the back, it wasn't a show really, but it was that the attacker wanted the ball for himself. Completely unaware of his situation, he ends up with a bit of a show there. It's going to be a long goal kick there. However, it eventually turns out to be pretty flat, doesn't get the elevation that you'd have wanted it to. few words they are asking for the ball to be sent downtown they know that they have a few players who can get them done as the score line stands DAV public school or DAV public college has secured the lead to a brilliant display of teamwork and ever since then it has been all DAV GRI no matter the tries no matter the attempts no matter the protests that they have done amongst their own ranks. They have not even come close to creating an opportunity in the opposition half. Forget the equalizer. DAV on the move again, creates it brilliantly, but the offside flag has gone up. I guess uh, the DAV players will have to be a bit more careful. They are getting uh, uh, they, are, they are getting caught in the middle of uh, too many offside traps. So that is something that they will have to avoid. It's a goal kick in favor of JRI. Despite the score line just being 1 0, DAV could have comfortably taken a lead of at least 3 to 4 goals by now. It's just that they've been extremely profligate up front and their opposition. has shown moments of brilliance with their defensive work. GRI just playing it a bit back however DAV has snatched it back was there too much weight on that first ball there was and that would allow GRI to create it I guess these are the small nitty gritties of the game that one needs to understand that one will probably have to map to become, to become better versions of themselves DAV still keeps on trying for the ball great defending in the end and it would be a goal kick in favor of GRI Many six minutes have elapsed already, and currently the score reads 1 0 in favor of DAV. DAV plays small little passes amongst the players. 
takes an inside turn, plays it off field. Another, this, the question is, was it an offside again? It was. This is actually poor from the DAV attackers. For almost the fifth or the sixth time, they are caught in that offside trap. They are, forget timing their run. They are not even aware of the fact that they are standing a million miles ahead of what is supposed to be the final line of defense. That won't give, that won't help them anything. And in the process, despite the fact that JRI has still been pretty reticent, if JRI does manage to find the back of the net once, this would create, this would shift the entire momentum in their opposition's favor. It's a free kick in favor of JRI now. The first categorical move in the opposition half, however, it's a free kick, even though it's from range, but at the end of the day, this can be a question mark for the goalkeeper if taken properly. And he sends it scarring down a million miles away, a million light years away from the woodwork. Look at this. The intent was there, but the ball flew high. DAV keeping things on the ground at the moment. Short pass is being played. Once again, hoping for the attacker to make the run. But no matter, even if it had made the run, the ball was well in control. Suddenly, the goalkeeper just wanted uh, to ease the opposition, ease the AV strikers to keep the ball or, you know, to snatch the ball away from himself and almost ended up doing the damage to his own team, bringing a downfall of the fortress that he has so far been defending and it has been breached once already. DAV on the surge again, brilliant piece of defending, but DAV keeps control, some excellent one-touch football, and GRI has regained possession. However, that doesn't mean that they will move getting the ball because the ball has been played back to the goalie straight away. We are heading towards the half an hour mark and the scorecard currently reads 1-0 in favour of DAV. A brilliant teamwork goal allowed them to draw first blood and ever since then it has all been DAV. GRI has totally switched off. They have no idea about what has hit them. And, and, and they continue to grapple with the fact that DAV is putting up a superior, superior display. Played down the far right, they won't be able to keep the ball in control. And it's a throw in for DAV. GRI for the first time have managed to have managed to make a couple of infringements in the opposition have in a span of the last three minutes. And now DAV has got the ball back for themselves. They are looking for that cross. The cross had too much weight. There was a blast station on the far right. But the defenders were also on their toes and would clear the lines of the danger, making it or keeping the scorecard intact as it was. DAV once again on the uh, once again chasing the ball but the ball's fallen back to GRI now now GRI is just trying to play the short little passes they have acres of space on that right wing where the defender has done a decent job of keeping things under check for DAV not allowing the GRI attackers to break free especially the one from the left wing and now DAV has just regained the ball from nowhere GRI however takes care of the takes care of the proceeding that was a slow start. Now the question is, can they reach the ball? Sends in a uh, sends in a curling cross, but the GRI defender was absolutely alert. He was vigilant about his situation and clears the lines initially, and clears the lines eventually. It's time. Plays that ball, chips it. But then it already went out, so that's going to be a goal kick. As we stand by for the goal kick, here's a quick reminder once again. Ladies and gentlemen, this content to you, these football games where youth 
where the views of the nation are playing incredibly well is brought to you by the official YouTube channel of Reliance Foundation Youth Sports. Please do like, share and subscribe as you would not as you'd get the live notifications from our channel that would state where the games are, where the next game is, wherein you would also be watching your closed ones play and if you are impressed by them please do hit the like button at the same time if you are impressed by our telecast you would request to go ahead and share this video so that more and more kids or more and more pedestal is being uh, given away to these kids and now another long ball attempt to be sent down that right has eventually veered off its original path and landed straight to the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper knows he has all the time in the world but what he is not realizing is that he is a man down DAV has found the ball back to themselves. They are playing the short passes. Again, a quick short pass, an exchange of short passes in the center. However, that's a miscued effort there. Quickly plays it up, the goalkeeper comes out of his line and will take collect the ball now. For the first time, the DAB goalkeeper has laid hands to a ball. So that gives out the fact that how dominant DAB has been. This time, another attempt to play that true ball has been snatched back by GRI. But DAB has again regained the ball. And now DAB is on the run. DAV is still trying to figure out a few ways there. I guess there was a foul that was committed while they were trying to turn. It must have caught the player on the free. It's a free kick in favor of GRI. The score still remains 1-0 in favour of DAV. A brilliant goal was scored on the 10th minute mark where the teams collaborated in the perfect proportions and GRI suddenly sniffing some blood there. Maybe there was one of the faintest of opportunities that went knocking but eventually DAV has managed to clear their lines and, the, and uh, it's GRI who won the ball back. Jara plays it straight. There's a man up front. The goalkeeper heads it away and he was off his line but the uh, offside flag has already come out. There will be a free kick. A very decent attempt. Saw the goalkeeper off his line uh, and they were just trying to pull off what probably could have been a won the goal. It's going to be DAV now. He's back with the ball. Sends to the player on the far right. But then he fails to control to the far left rather. Fails to control the ball. Giving away possession to GRI. GRI making a few moves early. The goalkeeper was off his line and comfortably collects the ball. Throws it back to DAV now. The last cup seen GRI enjoying the best spell of the not the best spell of the game, but at least the best spell of the possession for themselves in this game in the last two minutes. But as things stand, DAV has regained the ball and will be pushing it forward for another offensive. You can see there, a guy is taking the run. The question is, can this be defended? It has been well taken care of. It's going to be a goal kick in favor of JRI. We are almost down to the final 10 minutes of the first half. Both the sides have shown the intensity, the hunger to score. But DAV leads at the moment and that's because of the higher amount of salvo they have put behind, the dedication, the hard work, the diligence. But at the same time, they have made some criminal misses 
which only time shall tell whether will they come back to haunt them. And now plays a ball on the far left, trying to create an opportunity, but eventually gets tangled in the feet of leg there uh, that GRI just posed. A quick pass taken, or rather a quick throw taken. And suddenly, DAV is again on the break. They find their players. A bit of a hesitation there once again. The goalkeeper will have to keep things in check there. The ball's bobbling off him too much. That's something that won't really be expected from them. A quick short pass taken by DAV now. Plays on the far right. Quickly assessing their uh, assessing their options, DAV. They have their all important goal in their pocket. So that is exactly what will keep on building their confidence as the game progresses with every with every minute and second stolen away. DAV will be heading forward to a fine win. Provided if GRI fails to get that equalizer. Now DAV on the move again. It's been all DAV so far. GRI has come active in the recent minutes. But then another opportunity. Another haywire delivery. And the goalkeeper has things under control. And DAV suddenly has snatched the ball back in a very dangerous position. However, GRI will regain the possession of the ball. Because DAV didn't have a decent follow-up. After a decent first touch, after a decent snatch, what they had was basically clueless head and tail running around. A bit fortunate there, DAV, as GRI has suddenly started increasing the attacks. Going to be a throw-in in favor of GRI. So as I said, the last few minutes have somehow belonged to GRI. Even though they have lacked the precision to penetrate the opposition half. A short pass being played. And there will be another throw in. A long throw taken away. Continuous body block being attempted so that this ultimate is a possession is being won. And it's a free kick at the end of the day in favor of BAV Public School. Sorry, DAV Public College. Uh, sincere apologies. The wall has been played down at the far right now. Number two from DAV, trying to keep the ball in his control, and he does eventually. Good, decent job done by the youngster. The ball is roaming around a lot in the center, with both the teams occasionally playing that route one brand of football, where they're putting it up forward and mainly taking the aerial route without much, uh, without much precision, without much. Target finding. Oh, the goalkeeper just let it slip. GRI just trying to push it a bit harder, but that won't really bother uh, the opposition goalkeeper. I mean, the DAV goalkeeper to be precise. Again, the ball's fallen back for GRI. The DAV has somehow. They are slowly switching off a bit. The, the attacks that they were pouring forward, the attacks are drying up now. Can DAV create that ball? Well, he had to go outside, take an outside dodge, and eventually get it for get us a chance created for himself. But then he was looking for his man, 
and that allowed GRI to regroup and snatch the ball away. Passes there from DAV with the hope that they will be able to get that insurance goal too. They have got the opener, they have got the opener in some clinical fashion where almost the entire team was involved in scoring that goal. A brilliant, brilliant passes stitched together and eventually, not just eventually, I mean like it was finally put into the back of the net. After all the hard work being done, after all the genius being displayed, Quick throw taken away by the AV. Plays a long ball, switches the game. A very sensible decision. DAV once again on the rise, there's a man stationed in the far right, can he take the shot and can he hammer it home? He has been denied by the goalkeeper, excellent goalkeeping at the end of the day, has just allowed GRI to stay in the hunt. We'll quickly take a look at this opportunity. He had all the time in the world, all he needed to do was probably place it in the far right. But then he ends up slamming it straight at the goalkeeper. I guess the goalkeeper has been injured there while he was trying to save. And the referee giving him medical attention. Calling over for the players to come quickly to his aid. As far as the FIFA rules go, the goalkeeper will have to be treated on the ground itself. This is a brilliant save, an extended arm that didn't allow him to get the ball behind the back of the net. But that was exactly how he got injured. All the players crowding around the goalkeeper, concerned about him. Because at the end of the day, he's the captain of the side. A very well played half that has produced just a solitary goal probably won't do justice to the numbers. But the kind of football both these teams have stitched together has been a very inspiring brand of football, especially DAV. Somehow JRI has uh, came alive off late, but it's mainly DAV who's shown the world, or rather, who's shown everyone watching this game too, that the way in which they can operate. It's just that the number of passes up front, the number of penetrations in the attacking third hasn't been that great. So that is why they have just managed to secure one goal. The players are back on their feet. We are almost in the final few seconds of the first half. Sends a scarring ball and straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. Jarai on the move again, they send from the far right. Can they send that cross that they will be expecting? It's quite a long cross, haywire cross, and it'll be going out for a goal kick. 45 minutes on the clock, and the scorecard still reads 1 0 in favor of DAV. Plays it quickly amongst themselves. DAV is still trying to push the numbers up front. We are almost in the dying embers. It's an offside given. The referee had a quick look at his watch.
Dolphins are starting cross there. And that's the half time. It is DAV who's taken the lead with a phenomenal teamwork goal. A goal that was done by Vivek in the ninth minute. And ever since, it has been DAV and DAV only leading the charge. We'll soon be back with the second half. Stay tuned until then.
कॉल चालू है कॉल चालू है अभी नहीं We are all set for the second half of this exciting contest. We have already witnessed an exciting 45 minutes of intense footballing action wherein BAV has called all the shots and very deservedly lead the contest. We have come closer on several further, further occasions but at the end of the day couldn't find the back of the net. Some decent goalkeeping, a bit of a luck factor acting up their way. I guess we are still waiting for the game to be kick started. The referee pointing out of the dugout. We are still awaiting further instructions from the referee. We'll soon. And as we can see, this time DAV, the, the men in white, will be attacking from the left to right. Where in GRI, the men in red will be attacking from the right to left. And it's GRI who gets things underway. And straight away a long ball. Again, absolutely no idea about where the player was. Just wanted to clear it. Just wanted to clear the lines. And it was done. Poor, this is very poor effort from JRI. Again, just sticking a foot out, whatever falls this way. At least the attacker is now pressing high. But DAV has things under control so far. They have got a very slender lead at the moment. But the kind of domination that they have staged, and just when it felt that DAV was going to go forward, uh, they have, and JRI has ended up fouling a DAV player. So that means. It's going to be a free kick in favor of DAV. They are pouring the numbers up ahead. Of course, the wall will have to come behind. The referee will show them where exactly they'll have to stand. We have just kick-started the second half. Just a minute of game and we already have a free kick. This time, the signifies the intensity that both the teams want to inject into the game however DAV has the more urgency there a poor pass has been waylaid and the ball will be taken care of it's a long ball going straight at the arms of GRI now GRI pressing high DAV will have to take care of the proceedings there and they have managed to keep the ball away from the goal GRI once again on the move. They have a few players up front. Look at the player ahead. As we have seen, a lot of players getting entangled in the offside trap. It's because they do not have the minimum idea 
of what that final play line should be. After a sturdy physical challenge, we saw that DAV was again on the move, but GRI has managed to snatch the ball back. And now an entanglement of feet, and it's going to be the ball's going to roll down GRI's favor. So GRI will have an opportunity to break free, push harder, create some space for themselves, get a breathing room for themselves. GRI has been running short of all the breathing space at the moment. However, the lead that is currently being held by DAV, that lead is very slender. So that lead can slip away any po at any point in time. Once again, it's DAV and now DAV coming forward. Plays a long ball downfield, but it had to go the attacker running all the way from the left. Well, he's still asking the goalkeeper collected it from outside. He did. He eventually did, but the ball actually went out. So he, had, so he just brought the ball back in. So it was a goal kick. And now it's back to JRI there. Quickly plays a pass. A soft touch. Keeping things under control. Sends it back. Goalkeeper comes off his line. The ball's fallen back for JRI. Takes a quick turn. And now JRI hoping to carve open an attack. The attacker just running a bit forward. Uh, not having an idea about how the ball should have kept or should have been kept. Again, another long ball. It won't really find or it won't really see the end of the day. Rather simple goal kick at the end of the day for DAV. It's 48 minutes in the clock and the scorecard now reads 1-0 in favor of DAV. The first goal came in the around the 10th minute mark. And now DAV still trying to keep things in possession there. GRI not really in a good position now. As DAV on the attack, the goalkeeper charges forward. Good defensive work there. Eventually grabbing the ball. At the moment, GRI are trying to carve a few attacks up front. The question is, like only time shall say whether they'll be able to do that or not. Now after a weak and neat spell of possession, once again it's DAV. Like we said, the DAV has been all over the game. And they continue to dictate the terms with occasional bursts. Probably the bursts are a bit more in the second half from GRI than they did in the first. Once again, there's a slight technical glitch, but it has been taken care of. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an incredible encounter going on between DAV Public College and GRI. Sends a long ball, but I guess there was an extended feed that took the deflection off. So yes, this is, this is an encounter between DAV Public College and Jaspal Rana Institute of Education and Technology. A corner in favor of GRI. Whips in the cross. It was actually curling, but it didn't have that much curl either so that the ball can fall uh, in the attacking stride of GRI. So DAV once again will have the space to regroup their defense and push it and push forward.
I guess there was a hand, I guess it was a tackle at both ends, but eventually the one who committed the first one uh, was awarded the free kick. So there it is. There was a handball that happened, that is exactly what uh, resulted in the free kick. So before he took a tumble, of course the tumble also seemed uh, not really like it was, it seemed foul, it seemed like a foul. A long ball sent and the defenders have cleared their way. Once again, the ball has fallen back for DAV now. DAV quickly twisting and turning and churning out a few passes. And now JRI. They lack the numerical supremacy up front. The referee pointing to. So there's a substitution happening for DAV, uh, for DAV PG College. Number 16. Akhilesh is going to come on. And it's going to be number 12 who's going to come off. And then number 10. So two substitutions made. That means DAV wants to increase their attacking intent and put further pressure. A little bit of tussle, a little bit of body game there. Suddenly, uh, DAV did try to just burst open. But at the end of the day, they ended up hammering straight, which which eventually results out in the ball fizzling out for another goal kick. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Deradun leg of the Reliance Foundation Youth Sports. And both these colleges, they have shown decency, they have shown that intensity, and they have shown the hunger to score. They have shown the passion, and that's exactly what matters. A long goal kick there. However, to no avail as DAV still controls the narrative. GRI has regained the possession of the ball, trying to play it back, but it has been waylaid by DAV. Sends a long ball up front. The goalkeeper was off his line and would eventually put an end to the ball. Lays claim to it and plays it back to his defender. bit scrappy from DAV pub from DAV Public College. They'll have to batten up their hatches a bit more. It feels as if they are too complacent with that goal that they have already scored. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, just to give you all a reminder that the second half has been reduced to only 30 minutes instead of the usual 45 due to time constraints. So that means GRI will need a lot more to equalize because they'll have 15 minutes short. And at the moment it seems that DAV is still calling all the shots. They have the ascendancy in terms of the goal scored. It's 55 minutes on the clock. So we are already in the final 20 minutes of this game and DAV took an early lead around the 10th minute mark a brilliant team goal scored but ever since then even they have kind of lagged it off in the attacking unit despite coming close they have failed to score and now we can see there was a desperate attempt to JRI to keep the ball but it was a bit too extreme so he had to slide he had to move but couldn't keep the ball on the, in his control anyway. And now DAV, the player has found himself a bit far on the corner. But once again, there was too much weight on the ball. Probably he could have grabbed the ball and got a bit forward because he had a lot of space ahead of him. But somehow he wasn't confident enough. He wanted to finish it up there. But I personally believe if the ball, even if he would have received it, there was a slight chance that he seemed offside. Because he was a bit too ahead of the line before the ball was released. The ball has been won back by GRI now. But DAV has snatched it back. Poor passing from DAV. Once again, GRI manages to get the ball back. But DAV regains control of the possession. Takes that long shot. Lies slightly wide of the woodwork. Once again, after a long, long time, DAV hammers an effort. 
that went slightly off. A goal kick taken, but it was taken in a very awkward manner. It bounced up like anything. And as a result, the players couldn't control and have currently given the ball back to DAV. And now JRI has managed to control the ball. Can they keep the ball in? But DAV has snatched the ball back. And a nutmeg for number 9. Once again, they're trying to increase the numbers up front. DAV had a golden opportunity. A brilliant shot was taken. But eventually, uh, it couldn't find the back of the net as it was dragged wide. But now, uh, look at JRI just slamming the ball into the melee of boots. No clarity that where his players are, not even trying to break free. And now plays that long ball. The goalkeeper was a bit off his line, so I guess that was exactly why that long ball was played. Uh, but then it's okay. Throw in. Sends the ball there. And an attempt from the DAV player to snatch the ball doesn't result in much of positivity for them. Once again, the ball's back in DAV's control. The defenders are well spanned out. Plays the ball on the far left. Plays the ball a bit behind. Using that left channel now. There will be a cross coming in. The cross floats in. It was very perfectly weighted. It's been received by the DAV attacker. However, there are too many feet. Takes the shot. And in the back of the net, DAV has scored. They were looming around for a while. They were trying to open up their two flanks. And that's exactly what's happened. The left flank simply opened up. The defense was caught napping. Not many players crowded them out. And the second goal has now allowed them just as we were heading into the final, look at it. The goalkeeper didn't even go full-fledged. He thought that the ball was going to roll out. But it's rolled right in back of the net. Poor goalkeeping at the end of the day. And a hefty price is paid. They're just about to enter the 60-minute mark and currently DAV Public College has a 2-0 lead. And they are trying to accentuate the lead further, pile further misery upon JRI who has shown very minimal intent in both the halves despite spasmodic bursts of, of belligerence. They have somehow uh, been reticent still. Once again, DAV comes into the attack as there has been some poor defensive work. Sends the ball down the far right. Will be received and kept control. Despite the fact that he was not able to control it properly, still the GRI players did very little. Uh, there was some wrestling going on and I guess I just saw a takeover happening right in front of my eyes. Look at this. There you go. There you go. There you go. So yeah, one needs to understand that this is football. Rather long ball. GRI pressing harder, but I don't think. And it is through his legs eventually. Gets a quick ball down to the center. Number 16 on the far right. Quickly pays it, but then it was well intercepted by GRI, but only as far as the throw is concerned. going to be a long throw. Leave it. Short pass there. Tries to switch it down that far right. There was a lot of space and eventually it's going to most likely find its man but no it doesn't. It had too much on it. So the ball will go out for a throw in in favour of GRI. 
we have the final we have the final 15 minutes coming up so GRI will have reduced time to actually score those two goals and so far they haven't shown any intensity a nice receive even though the ball did bubble out of contention but then he keeps the ball under control a long ball there won't be anyone to head it home but it's fallen back for DAV and now DAV sends scarring in the player took a tumble and it was already flagged offside so no joy to the men in white anymore the men in red will get some space to themselves Well, he waited for the attacker to climb onto him, literally. Plays it on the far left, number 13. Takes a turn, but then eventually concedes a possession to DAV again. Send the ball back there to number 5. Quickly takes a turn. And then sends it downtown. Well controlled by number 4. Once again, DAV. They have players on the far extremes and now another attack in the making there's a defender on breathing on his neck he'll be whipping in that cross he went for the glow himself he wanted glory coming all his way but then at the end of the day the cross was a bit too heavy allowing them to rally back long goal kicks coming forward quick passes is being played by DAV DAV wants num the higher number of goals for themselves but that was a poor pass they have snatched the ball they have snatched just snatched the ball back and somehow managed to get hold of it. DAV continues to excel. Looks for a few position there, but it took a sharp deflection. A bit of a push and a bit of a show. Directly blowing the whistle and the ball is going to go in favor. DAV not really happy with this. Takes a quick free kick. Just when they had their back turned, but the ball's fallen back with JRI again. And DAV has snatched the ball back again. They've regained possession and now they send in that forward through. The attacker marauding down the right. Tries to go for the cross and it would eventually be a corner kick in favor of DAV. Last 10 minutes of the contest remaining. 65 minutes has, has wild away. A short corner taken, sends it across, but that was directionless and that would be a goal kick. And GRI, once again. The problem is that their receive, their receiving has been pretty poor. And that has actually cost them more than a sloppy defense. They they were unable to keep the ball in control every single time the DAV attackers have actually came knocking. It's just that it has been too much of a task there to even clear the balls properly. And you know the result. DAV leading by two goals to nil. Quickly sends the ball now. Sends it to number 14. Now DAV on the rise. They have acres of space ahead. Can they get that goal? They have got that third goal as well. The goalkeeper rushed out of his line. No idea whatsoever how to stop it. And with 10 min less than 10 minutes to go, DAV has put the game to bed in clinical fashion. Third goal of the day. And it's all DAV at the moment. Look at this chance, a brilliant ball, spotted the run, 
the defender thought that it was going to, he's going to stop it from there on. No chance whatsoever. A cool and a calm finish. And now DAV is making a mockery of GRI. It feels as if these last 10 minutes will be nothing but a test. A test of torment for GRI. A brilliant run down the center, well spotted by the midfielder. A peach of a through and an equally brilliant finish. The press still continues. Oh, he almost had the ball for himself, but there's some show of intellect. An intelligent hit takes a reflection of the player and goes out. Plays it straight. The ball has been sent on the far left. He collects the ball eventually. Plays it back to number five. Number five plays it straight. Once again, well, he took a bit of a time to turn. Another long ball down that far left. There is his attacker. He's got the ball in control. He'll probably be exploring that option on to his closest. He does it well. Uh, I guess there was a false at both ends. So both the players thought that it was going to be the other player's ball and didn't really venture forward. Quick change happening. Number 15 coming up. Or number 15 coming in there. And number 9 will be going out for DAV Public College. GRI has got the ball back in the, under their control. Once again. This is another quick burst. Another goal opportunity. Goalkeeper has come out again. And goal number 4. Similar fashion is goal number 3. Goalkeeper unable to reduce the angle. Allowing them to finish. And it's goal number 4. In favour of DAV. This is humiliation coming over now for GRI. They're unable to keep things in check. They're unable to spot those runs. The defense has somehow completely switched off. We will be once again restarting with it. And the game has been restarted. However, DAB has again regained control of the proceedings and will resume as so far the tradition has been. And now DAB on the run, again on the attack. This time the goalkeeper came out and cleared his lines. Final five minutes of the game remaining. DAB has made this a mockery of GRI. They lead the contest by four goals to nil. A small glimmer of hope for GRI to find a consolation goal. Now DAV once again on that run from the left wing. Takes a quick tumble, battles it out a bit. The ball, the possession is still. We can see four players are marking that one man. This kind of gives up the hint that how dominant DAV has been. The goalkeeper has again made a hash of affairs. Couldn't collect it cleanly. The ball's fallen back for DAV. There's still a lot of space. They've found the man on the far right. Can they create that center? No, it w I guess it was offside already. A quick kick taken. And that will go straight into the arms of the goalkeeper.
and that has been cleared as well so last three minutes of the contents remaining as it was a reduced second half due to time constraints and due to a delay in earlier games it's going to be a throw in in favor of GRI quickly sends it can GRI find at least a consolation goal for themselves well at the moment it seems like they are in DAV continues with the high press DAV continues with the intensity that they have been playing that entire match with especially in the second half once again on the run the goalkeepers of the move he got a bit too haywire and eventually it was an offside so that won't matter either that won't count we are almost about to enter the final 120 seconds of the game. The JRI players have had a very hard time trying to deal with DAV. Four goals were scored and three were scored in the span of this game in the last 10 minutes. Wherein DAV kept on, kept their feet on the pedal, kept on accelerating and eventually found the back of the net. Plays that ball, plays that through ball once again. It's kind of a similar attack coming over. The cross was created. Very well done block there. A sliding tackle coming in. That put an end to that move and that enterprise. But the danger is still not over as the ball remains with the AV. However, GRI has snatched it eventually. And would probably they're trying to stitch together the short passes in the defense, which hasn't really worked out in their favor because DAV has managed to snatch the ball away. And this is for the first time. Plays a brilliant ball. This can be a dangerous opportunity. However, the DAV defense was well alert. This was indeed an excellent ball and a very nice receive in the first touch. But the second touch got a bit too heavy and eventually cost him dearly. The goalkeeper was way out of his line this time. And it was anyway offside. So GRI will have an opportunity in the final 60 seconds to send the ball downtown. Sends a long ball there. But somehow it's just fallen back in their own defensive half. DAV pressing high, uh, but the throw-in will go in their favor. A quick throw-in taken. Straight to the goalkeeper. Heads it. it. It was awkwardly difficult for the goalkeeper, but the goalkeeper keeps his calm and composure. To keep things in check. Number 16 on the far right. Final 5 seconds of the contest remaining. DAV keeping composure. That's the end of the match. DAV winning this contest comprehensively by four goals to nil. Absolutely brilliant display of confidence. A brace from Vivek, a brace from Naveen did the job for DAV Public College. Wherein Jaspal Rana Institute of Education and Technology would be leaving another day to fight again. At the moment, it's disappointment for them. BAV Public College issuing a strong statement by scoring four goals that would give them a fine surge ahead of the upcoming fixtures. There will be more fixtures coming very shortly to all of you. Stay tuned for you never know what kind of intensity will be up next.